it's Jim Hutchinson from the Fisherman Magazine, New Jersey, Delaware Bay edition. And once again, winter has decided that she's not done yet. Dumping a bunch of snow on us last Thursday, but I'm telling you right now, it looks like she's finally doing her death roll. We're sinking the gaff in her and we are done. A good thaw out coming this week and we do have some action coming uh, from some of our local fishermen. Uh, stripers in the Creek. We're checked in with Murphy's Hook House, Lacey Marine, Apsecon Bay Sportsman Center, all reporting the same things. We've got some small stripers and a couple of keepers as well, taking bloodworms, clams, and some swimming plastics. I don't have to tell you where, just a little west of this big girl here in that warm water. So make sure you get in on that action. Do your best. Check thefisherman.com for the full reports if you're not sure exactly where those fish are biting. The party boats for hire guys, they're heading out as well, trying to pack the rails with customers. The Jamaica 2 was out over the weekend, found some schooly sized cod, a few keepers as well, some ling. Um, hey, hey, look, if you want to get in on some of that meat action as well, get in on some of those cod while they're coming down, while they're loaded on the wrecks. And of course, ling, fight like a wet blanket, sure, but it is a great tasting fish. Good on out there, the uh, Jamaica 2 sailing. The Bayhound, we talked to Captain Al Cradelli. He's out doing some prospecting in South Jersey this week. He's out looking for those baseball sized ling and hopefully getting a couple of cod as well. But most of the for hire guys, the folks that are the big mass transit waiting to take passengers out to the, uh, to the grounds, they are really waiting for that April TOG opener. Of course, here in New Jersey, we are closed in March, but we go back to a bag limit on uh, TOG starting in April. Folks are going to begin sailing then. If you do want to get in on the Blackfish, I would encourage you to take a look at folks like the Rehoboth Star down in Delaware. Delaware does have their Blackfish season open right now in March, so if you're looking to get in on the wreck fishing there, go ahead and give it a shot. Also this weekend in Delaware, the trout season kickoff. It's delayed by a little bit of time because of the weather, but they're expecting some good action on the trout streams in Delaware this weekend, so make sure you check that out. We've been real busy at the shows. We just finished up at Rockland Community College for the big Suffern show. It was packed. I mean, just absolutely packed with people after the snow on Saturday. It was just jamming, and we got to talk to a lot of good folks, and we are looking forward to the next big event in a couple of weeks. The Saltwater Expo, that's happening at Somerset. The same folks who put on the Suffern Show, they put on this new granddaddy of saltwater fishing. Make sure you come by and see us there at the show in a couple of weeks. Of course, the big discussion at all the shows is what about the regulations? Well, we should know more about summer flounder and fluke in New Jersey. Come April 9th, the New Jersey Marine Fisheries Council had to postpone last week's weather of last week's meeting because of the weather. So they're going to meet in Stafford Township on April 9th. They're also going to talk about the striped bass bonus program. You can check out thefisherman.com for more information on that. New Jersey's legislative appeals for striped bass is moving through in Trenton at a snail's pace, but here's what they're talking about doing. It's going to be one fish from 28 inches to just under 43 inches and one striped bass at 43 and above. Once they vote on that and the governor signs off, that's going to be the new regulatory package for striped bass in 2015. Not everybody likes it. Not everybody hates it. It is what it is. The ASMFC has decided to cut 25% reduction from striped bass in 2015. And that's something we all can support because we've all seen the numbers. We've all seen it on the water. Striped bass stock is definitely down a little bit. So let's hope that 25% reduction and that new limit for New Jersey in 2015 will do the trick. You know, the Fisherman Magazine has taken a real ample notice of this as well. We've, we're, we're very concerned. And that's why we're announcing something very special at the Dream Boat Fishing Challenge for our subscribers only. We're actually going to remove striped bass from Dream Boat contention this year because of what we're seeing in striped bass. But we have a very special prize, a photographic prize, if you will. We have full details on that. You could get a cover shot in the Fisherman Magazine, one of our glossy editions next year. You could also win a trip to Fish Zancudo Lodge in Costa Rica. Go to thefisherman.com today. Find out all the details about this. Very exciting news. We're very happy about this. And I got to remind you, don't forget, go to saltwaterregistry.nj.gov before you go trying to fish for striped bass or winter flounder. It's the law. You need to register saltwaterregistry.nj.gov and please go see us at thefisherman.com for all the news, all the reports from what's happening on the fishing scene and especially the Dream Boat Contest. I'll see you next week on thefisherman.com and here with The Fisherman Magazine.
To receive the latest fishing reports, subscribe to the Fisherman's YouTube page. Click subscribe, then click the settings button and check send me updates. You'll now receive notifications of the latest Fisherman YouTube videos and reports. If you're already a subscriber, make sure you've checked send me updates in the settings so you receive the latest notifications.